Welcome back to This Week in Agribusiness. This time of year, a lot of us are spending a lot of our hours in tractor cabs, appreciating this incredible piece of modern machinery that gets our crops in, gets our crops out, and keeps all our livestock alive. But some folks are really into the history of those machines. One of those people, that's Max Armstrong. Max had a chance to get caught up on a new book coming about tractors. Max, we know you love machines. Tell us what we're talking about this week. Well, of course, Mike, you know I love tractors. You know I really appreciate great tractor books. And joining us this weekend on This Week in Agribusiness, probably the best tractor author photographer alive today, Lee Clauncher, joining us from his home in Texas. Lee, welcome to the broadcast. Uh, I would hasten to point out that back here behind me are Lee Clauncher books. There's Red Combine, Red Tractors, your book, Tractor. Now you're branching off a little different direction. Tell us about it. We're, we're, as you've pointed out, Max, we're bipartisan. We're, we're moving into uh, green tractors. So our newest book uh, coming this fall is John Deere Evolution. It is uh, the, a similar treatment to red tractors with lots of amazing images and uh, incredible research on John Deere tractors. This covers the entire line. So from the first to the last. Amazing images. That's one thing that those of us who are big fans of Lee Clauncher have come to appreciate. The superb photography, the work that you put into your shots. And some of these were taken at the half century of progress at Rantoul, Illinois last time. Absolutely. And, and one of the things that's really unique about this John Deere book is there's a lot of studio photography. So, and these were all studios. There's two studios involved in the book that were custom built. Um, one of them was 30 by 50 feet and the one at Rantoul was 40 by 60 feet. Um, these were uh, very large projects. You use a overhead light bank, which is a extremely expensive piece of kit that we love playing with, um, made by a company called Chimera that provides this stunning, beautiful light. Um, the really special thing about Rantoul was, uh, you know, the half century show. First, there's such an incredible amount of quality equipment at that show. So we were able to get some really amazing machines. Uh, the tractor on the cover is the very first 6030 built. Um, it was actually a prototype that was supposed to be destroyed that was rescued and Bradwalk restored. It's so perfect. In fact, that tractor, a pair of boots have never touched the platform. When Brad gets on it, he takes his boots off. Um, but we brought those machines into this booth and because half century has big space, we were able to hang our light box, make this big space and then photograph both on black. So some of the images are just lit with a black backdrop and some of them we, we took down the backdrop. Actually, the wind took down the backdrop. That's kind of a funny story. But um, when the backdrop was gone, you could see the old uh, hangar four background. There was an old door and the old brick and the iron. And, and frankly, uh, my entire photo crew liked those better because they really, that's just a beautiful old building. It's got so much character. So the imagery in this book, uh, and, and then we also shot at the Keller uh, collection in Wisconsin on white. Um, so, and the Keller, Kellers obviously have one of the best John Deere collections, tons and tons of first uh, serial number one machines. So there's a lot of really important machines in the book that are just uh, some of my finest photographic work, in my opinion. In your thorough research, I understand you also accessed the Dreyfus collection. What is that? Who who was Dreyfus? So Henry Dreyfus uh, was an industrial designer, uh, fairly famous for the Honeywell thermostat, believe it or not, and um, uh, several uh, airliners and uh, railroads. Back in the 20s and 30s, American products started being styled. So the, the big companies had discovered that by adding style, they could sell more. And these industrial designers in America did some just incredible work. Uh, Henry Dreyfus, Raymond Lowy at, at IH, um, a number of these guys did a, a bunch of these products. Dreyfus was really one of the best and um, also one of the most kind of firm and ethical, just an amazing guy. So much good history in a Lee Clauncher book. 
How can we uh, get one as soon as we can get one? They don't come out till fall, I understand. They don't. They'll be out uh, September 15th. Uh, they'll be available. Um, you can order them anywhere books are sold, but you also can go to octanepress.com and uh, pre-order your copies now. And we've got them. The retail price of the book is $60. It'll be 288 pages, another big oversized hardcover. Um, the retail is 60. Oh, we've got them available for $45 at Octane Press. Lee, give us the title of the book one more time so we'll know how to ask for it. John Deere Evolution by Lee Cloncher. Thank you so much, sir. Good to have you on with us as always. We'll look forward to seeing you at Rand Tool at the Half Century of Progress. Looking forward to it, Max. Thank you so much for your time. Mike, he's one of the guys that'll be there in Rantoul, Illinois. We are certainly looking forward to that day, those days that we get to play at Rantoul. Thanks, Max. Thanks, Lee. That is some gorgeous photography. And folks, as Lee mentioned, those pictures came from the hangar at the Half Century of Progress show. The Half Century of Progress show will be back this year. It's in Rantoul, August 26th through the 29th. You can get more information on their website at halfcenturyofprogress.com. And if you are a person that loves that green paint and you want a copy of John Deere Evolution, get online to octanepress.com and secure yourself a copy for when it's released. Don't go away. We'll be back with more on This Week in Agribusiness.